Combines by Sam and Colton. Hi, I'm Colton. And I'm Sam. And we're here to tell you about Combines. Hi! Combines were invented by a man named Hiran Moore in 1838. It could take up to 16 horses to pull an early combine. Combines were later pulled by steam engines. George Stockenberry upgraded it into the single machine we know today. This new machine was cheaper than the original horse John Reaper. The Reaper and the Thresher together cost $3 an acre, while the Combine is between $1.50 and $1.75 per acre. Combines are a very complex piece of machinery, as you can see in this model. Here's a model to help you show how it works. This is the head on the Combine. This is the part that picks up the corn. As you can see in this photo, the Combine runs through the corn rows to pick the corn. If it wasn't for the combine, all crops would have to be hand-picked. Combines are used for many crops besides corn. They are also used to pick wheat and soybeans. Combines are so popular they have even been made into children's toys. <laughs> this is the view of a revolving wheel used to cut wheat and beans. The John Deere and New Holland companies are major combine industries. After the crops harvested, they put it into a truck or wagon. Combines are very big pieces of machinery, so they need a lot of space. When the corn looks like this, it's almost harvest time. Combines are so high tech now that they have lights and GPS navigators. This is the front and back view of a new Holland Combine. This is a smaller combine used for smaller fields.
Here's a view of what it looks like from the top. The extra husks and cobs come out the back. Combines have evolved so much over the past 170 years. How can we live without them? 